Changing gear smoothly is an important skill for the driver of any car with a manual gearbox, but sometimes it can be difficult to change down to a lower gear without that annoying jerk as the clutch is released. A driver that can use the accelerator to match the engine speed to the road speed when changing down will achieve a much smoother gear change. This technique is called rev matching. This video will look at why it is difficult to change down smoothly, show how rev matching can help with this problem and also where we can use this technique. You may have noticed that it is easy to be smooth when changing up to a higher gear, but when changing down to a lower gear, it can often be jerky. This is because when changing up, the engine speed and road speed will usually match each other, but when changing down, the road speed is much higher than the engine speed. And when the clutch is released, the jerk is caused by the engine and road speeds matching each other. The easiest way to avoid this jerk is to slow the car down more before changing down, but this isn't always possible. The technique we would recommend to a more experienced driver would be to use the accelerator pedal during the gear change to increase the engine speed so that it matches the road speed of the car. This is called a rev match. Rev matching is when we use the accelerator during a gear change to match the engine speed to the road speed in the next gear. In this example, we are approaching a lower speed limit and need to slow down and change from fifth to third gear. Let's watch in slow motion this time. We brake the car smoothly and start the gear change as normal. Then gently press or tap the accelerator to increase the engine revs. Then finally release the clutch pedal to complete the gear change. The extra engine revs match the higher road speed of the car and it results in a perfectly smooth gear change. Let's have another look at that at normal speed. In this second clip, we are approaching a roundabout and need to change from fourth to second gear. The key is to use the accelerator just the right amount and at just the right time. This will take some time to master as the amount of extra engine revs needed will vary depending on the car speed and gear being selected. The bigger the difference between the engine speed and road speed, the more extra engine revs will be needed. We try to allow ourselves plenty of time to complete the gear change, so plan well ahead and don't rush anything. The most obvious benefit of using rev matching to change gear more smoothly is that it will give a much nicer ride to any passengers in the car. Another benefit is that the clutch will wear out more slowly and will therefore last longer, delaying the cost of a clutch replacement. Finally, because the car will stay more balanced when changing gear, this will reduce the chance of losing traction when changing gear on a bend or when driving on a slippery surface. Unless we are driving very slowly, Almost every down change to a lower gear can be improved by using the rev matching technique. However, the biggest benefit will be when block changing down two or more gears, as this is when it is most difficult to change gear smoothly because of the big difference between the engine speed and road speed. In this last clip, we are going to change from fourth to second gear but with a well-timed rev match, the gear change is still completely smooth. It is even possible to rev match whilst braking the car, but this technique is more difficult to achieve, so is not recommended for less experienced drivers. So 
so remember to allow plenty of time to change gear, start the gear change as normal, use the accelerator to rev the engine and lift the clutch up gently. If you found this video interesting then please click like and subscribe to our channel as it really helps other people find our videos. Thanks for watching.